Halleluja, tis ihr, aber Jubiläer. Today, uh, 2016, Jubiläer. This year of Jubilee was meant to be celebrated every 50 years, you know. Your debt will be cancelled. This blessed year, Jubilee. Hmm? Your, your problem and whatever problem you have, Physically, financially, and mentally, and anything that in your life will be freed from the something you think about. Hallelujah. It, you know, I want to tell you, it, it includes canceling all debt free. All slaves returning in the each original owner, all land that had been sold. That, that, that is all the times in the Jubilee year. Same thing now. Halle, okay. And one more. If you, this is the one condition, if you pray, to the Lord, like uh, Hezekiah, who is the king of Judah. He was a great king of Judah history. Huh? It, uh, the Bible says, 2 King uh, 18, chapter 5, Hezekiah trust in the Lord, the God of Israel, God of you, God of me. We believe now, saying God, he trust in the Lord. There was no man like him among all the kings of the Judah country. Hallelujah. Either before him or after him. He kept the command the Lord God had given Moses. Huh? Lord was with him, like Joseph. He was uh, successful, whatever he undertook. Hmm? Oh, oh, I want to tell you more scripture in the, in, in the story of the, 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 the Hezekiah. Look at the Hezekiah, accomplished as a king. Hmm? Second Chronicle 29 shows that when he took office at the 26th, he became the 26 years old. Huh? He did that which he, uh, was, uh, he was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David, his father, had done. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. King, listen, my friend, we have to learn what Hezekiah had done. We have to listen uh, uh, in the history. Uh, Hezekiah reigned and uh, his he, he, kingship at that time. Uh, he was BC 715 through the 686 BC. 29 years he reigned in the, the Judah. Huh? King Hezekiah refused to follow the idol, idol retros path of his father, King Ahaz. 
according to second uh, Chronicle 28, chapter 24, 25 say about uh, Ahaz, he who is, uh, was a uh, uh, most vicious king in Judah history. Evil, he, he, he had done evil thing. Hmm? The Bible say he worshipped the, the bar. Huh? False God, bar. Huh? You know bar. He made the cast idol. Worshipping. Bar. Listen. He burned the sacrifice in the belly of Hinnom and the sacrifice to his son, children, in the fire. He killed every children in fire. Oh my God. Huh? In every time, town in Judah city, he built high places to burn the sacrifice the other God and pro provoke to the Lord and make angry to the Lord. Huh? Uh, by the way, uh, I want to tell you uh, 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 something. Uh, for this month, April 19, the Satan worshiper going to build uh, the Baal Sharin, Baal, something like a temple, in New York and, uh, and London. Yeah. They had a plan now to build a Baal's temple now in this country. Oh my, I can't believe oh, uh, I will tell you later. Oh, America had to repent. Oh, we have to repent. The king Hezekiah saw the spiritual fierceness of his nation, Judah, and immediately began to purge all pagan practices. Hmm? As soon as he took office, I, I, I want to tell you, uh, he, he started in the, in the, in the, in several things, got hit. Uh, firstly, purified the temple and got the lead of idol, his forefather, Aha, as worshipped Baal, and brought tide, hmm? tide to the Gacha house. So I want to tell you one by one, okay. Uh, he cringed the temple, which he had fallen into disuse and disrepair because his father had destroyed all temple because he worshipped the idol. So he prodded, urged the priesthood to purify themselves and serve God once again. He dedicated idolatry. Oh. He took out all idol in their country. As soon as he became the king. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the giving glory. Hallelujah. Huh? He put the nation back on the course to properly worship the true God. Huh? It's amazing what one man, only one man can do when he jealously commits himself to God. Huh? 
Huh? Hezekiah resumed the temple sacrifice. According to verse 20 to 21. He also pointed the nation back to King David and re-established the, uh, the beautiful, uplifting, inspiring music service of the temple. He made the revival of service that the David used to worship the temple, the Solomon also too. Hmm? Under his leadership, the Jews prayed God with all their might. Nation, Judah, return to the basic people have to keep. Following great examples like King David and obeying God. This is a blueprint we all need to follow what Hezekiah did. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Huh? Oh, thank you. Those, those past events are type of what is happening in this end time. So, no, you know, as the Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 10, chapter, verse 11, what happened ancient, anciently is an example for us. We have to learn history. That's why we read the Bible. That's why we study the Bible. Hmm? The story of Hezekiah applies to the end time of the nation of the Israel, America, Britain. I want to tell you, especially this country, America, which is, is in chaos spiritually. Hmm? This country is going down. They spiritually, and people turn away it, from the God who established this country. Oh, my, my. So, uh, 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 I, I, I want to tell you uh, what Hezekiah said to the rabbis and the priest before he started the purge and get rid of the old idol which his father worshipped and he cleaned the temple. He addressed it and the people and the priest. And according to 2 Chronicles 29 chapter uh, verse 8 to 9, listen, listen my friend. Uh, we, we, we have to understand. So I, I, I want to read, just to listen. Uh, I start to read uh, A. Therefore, the, the anger of the Lord had fallen on Judah and Jerusalem. He had made them an object of dread and horror and storm, uh, not storm, <laughs> scorn, laugh at, scorn. And you can see with your own eyes, this is why you, our father have fallen by the sword and why our sons and daughters and our wives are 
in captivity. Now, I intended to make a covenant with the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The God of Israel. So that has, so that his, his fierce anger will turn away from us. That it was Hezekiah address that spoke to the priest and all the people before he start to walk. We have to listen. Hmm? America, all, all people of this country have to listen what Hezekiah had said. Hmm? That's why I believe. I believe. That's why uh, natural disaster is happening everywhere in this country. You know that. That's why uh, terrorist is happening now. This country. That's why many, many people are killed by terrorism. Hmm? School shooting in every way. Huh? Economy is chaos going down. That's why the people of this country, especially the leader of this country, don't like worship to God. Not like uh, the, their forefather had been worshipped to the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, uh, oh I, 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 I'm going to move. Uh, hmm? So, secondly, King Hezekiah inspired the people Establish a habit of cheerful giving. I'm talking about affording. Hmm? According to 2 Chronicles 29, chapter 31, Jews gave offering in such abundance that the priests were few to process them all. Both 34, 35. Huh? You know, <laughs> I want you to read uh, and, uh, the um, Bible, 2 uh, 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 Chronicles 20, chapter 8, 29, 30, 32. And 2 uh, King 18, chapter 20, chapter. Huh? Isaiah 36, chapter and 39, chapter. That all had written about the story of Hezekiah because a lot of these three books testified that Hezekiah was the great king in Judah history that we have to learn. Oh, my, my, my. Huh? The, oh, let's go to back to offering. A lot of people brought animal. So priest uh, could not handle the, those animals which they brought. The so Bible say, listen, <laughs> listen, that is so good. The animal consecrated as a sacrifices Amount, listen, amounted to 600 bulls and 3,000 sheep and goats they brought to the, to the temple. 3,000 sheep and goats. Oh, oh my, my, my. <laughs> yeah. huh? 
This is a good problem, not <laughs> bad problem. So good problem to everybody, as well as priest, king, to have God to work. I want to tell you. Oh, listen carefully. God to work always. Help to a lot of supporters. They can do the building of the kingdom of God now. We need material, hallelujah. Huh? For the kingdom of God. It can always use more people who will give their lives in service to it. Okay, I'll tell you one more. Hezekiah also commanded the people to resume tithing of their income. You know, one tenth. Second Chronicles 31, chapter 35. God truly blesses us as we obey such a command. Doing God's will in every aspect of our lives. Oh, huh? Let me tell you the Bible about this tithing. Listen, my friend. This is uh, this statement in the chief priest Ajia said at that time. Listen, listen. Lord, we have had enough to eat and plenty to spare. <laughs> because because the Lord has blessed his people, his people. And this great amount is left over. Because they brought the tide. They brought the tide of everything. They produced. Hmm? Uh, this is my, my, my brother and sister. If you want to receive the blessing of God, you should to give a tithe. Don't forget. I believe you already know. Okay. So, uh, thirdly, Hezekiah also read people to resume keeping the holy days. He wrote a letter. To all of Judea and Israel to encourage them to attend the Passover and the days of unleavened bread service at the temple in Jerusalem. Second Corinthians chapter 1 through 9. Many people humbled uh, you know, the themselves and came to Jerusalem to keep the holy days. Uh, look at that. Look at the, what happened to those who obeyed. You know that. True joy began to flow in their lives. Verse 21 says, they, they kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with great greatness. This is how to have joy in your life. There was just great joy in Jerusalem. For since the time of the King Solomon, if you, let me tell you, if you don't, uh, you know, have this joy going in your life, check your, your dedication to the Lord, the serving to the Lord. Huh? You, need, you need to check something. Huh? We, we need this joy they had. Let you follow Hezekiah's example and serve God with all our joy and might. Okay, might. The, 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 notice. Listen. Uh, listen, listen. Uh, almost finished. Listen, that is very important, I have to say. How Hezekiah responded in his crisis? Hmm? You know, King of Assyria, San Hanadrip, San Hanashirip, yes, San Hanashirip, 
sent messenger with a letter that you should surrender to me. And Hezekiah got this letter from the messenger. And he, he, he you know, tore down the clothes and the, with the sackcloth. And, and he went to the temple of God and spread in front of the God. He prayed. Hmm? This king had many problems we have. But one thing, listen, my friend, one thing, remember, he had right was that he became close friend. Who's a close friend? Uh, Prophet Isaiah. Huh? Isaiah was his good friend, prophet, who gave advice and revelation from the God used to give to King Hezekiah when he prayed. Oh. He took advantage of his opportunity to learn from God's man, Isaiah, and to reap the Benefit. Hezekiah put his hopeless situation, hopeless situation into God's hand. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my Lord. Uh, I, 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 you hear me? God heard Hezekiah's prayer and gave encouragement. Through the, through the Isaiah, prophet Isaiah, hallelujah. We must learn, as this ancient king did, that God stands, hallelujah, ready to and willing to fight your battle. How do you achieve the success in your life? L listen, listen, my friend. Oh, I, 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 God loves you. <laughs> Let God fight your battles for you. Oh, my, my, my. We all have a battle in our lives. We have to fight. We will win. And we will win if we fight. Fight with the God's power and not our own, our own knowledge, our own and, and the strength. Listen, what happened? God, this God gave answer to the, the Hezekiah, who prayed to the Lord. Oh, oh I can't believe that. Huh? God sent a death angel into the Assyrian camp by night to slaughter. Listen, 185,000 people were killed just one night. Do you believe? Can you imagine? By one night, 185,000 people were killed. <laughs> oh, I love this, 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 this story. Oh. <laughs> huh? And uh, the king, Assyria, he was killed too in his country. You know that. God will remove every last son, Shedrib. Son, Shedrib. Yes, I, uh, my pronunciation is Son, uh, Shedrib, who oppose you, your enemy. God is our ultimate soldier. Oh, my, my, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, this way. He won the, your battle, crushing the victory. Uh, it doesn't matter what your enemy you have. I don't care. What you a problem? Huh? What you faced in chaos? Hmm? What you want to do there? 
what to worry about or what distraction of the fear hmm? or if you have a siege of the troubles doesn't matter hmm? just look at the load uh, who got up Hezekiah he got the answer through the prophet Isaiah oh hallelujah God says you can solve it and conquer it. God, you got the more than enough conqueror, victory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. You got uh, God of Hezekiah. God of you we is going to in, in every answer in every problem you have if you pray like uh, him in this year a jubilee year your debt will be free hallelujah every problem that financial physically and uh, health also god will take care of you thank you bye bye see you later hallelujah